uh, thank you for adding this to the agenda tonight. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm pleased to wrap this up this week. This is, this is uh, uh, something that we've been working on for quite some time uh, in the community. It's uh, an important, uh, probably the most important, uh, to, to quote to a good friend that said that earlier this afternoon, uh, investment in the community that, uh, that, that will be made, and that's uh, uh, the creation of a pad-ready site in the Regional Commerce Center. Uh, we've been working uh, for quite some time with the new leadership of the EDC. Mr. Griffith has really driven this project. He deserves all the credit for getting it uh, here to the finish line. Uh, there's some people that work behind the scenes to uh, uh, navigate the process, but uh, Mr. Griffith has, has been the driving force between getting this to a reality. So re reconfigured EDC, working with the IDA, utilizing your joint revenue sharing agreement with the City of Covington, have come up with plans in the Commerce Center working with Covington uh, to develop a 35-acre graded pad and a 50-acre um, uh, uh, graded site uh, and a total of 105 acres that the county currently owns. You've already approved the transfer of that property from the county to the IDA. Those documents will be signed as part of the financing agreement um, that transfers that acreage. Uh, we worked, were able to work with the local bank, Highlands Community Bank, to secure <coughs> financing for the project up to $2.2 million uh, to complete the, the improvements for 10 years. Uh, uh, note with Highlands Community Bank that uh, interest only payments should you choose as an option for the first 10 years if we don't land somebody uh, in the Commerce Center that, uh, that uh, that's negotiable to extend those interest only payments you can pay principal you can pay interest on, on the note but you have the option of paying the, the interest only portion for the first 10 years up until it's it's uh, renegotiated Highlands Community Bank, uh, working with uh, the EDC members and the IDA members, uh, wanted to be a part of the project, saw the value of the investment in the community, and uh, there was a lot of work to make it a completely local uh, project from uh, the two localities <coughs> working together, your volunteer boards, uh, and also the bank putting it together. You do have money appropriated in your budget this year uh, to cover uh, the first year of uh, debt service for the project. Uh, both localities are required uh, because of the interest only provision. Uh, both localities are required to annually appropriate 100% of the debt service payment, but you're only required to transfer 50% of that to the IDA. Uh, and that's in place as a default provision for the bank uh, if for some reason there is a, uh, an issue with one or uh, other localities uh, not being able to, to make the the interest only payment in a given year or the principal and interest only payment in a given year. Uh, you do have the option to pay your 50% of the debt or uh, uh, if, if, if there is another provision, all of the debt off with no prepayment penalty. So uh, you could in theory utilize uh, your fund balance if necessary. <clears throat> if you had a prospect come into the site early on to go ahead and settle uh, once you brought the prospect and, and had them here, you could pay the, pay the principal off. Be happy to, to answer any questions. The uh, IDA board of directors met this afternoon and approved the uh, financing agreement. Uh, the uh, city of Covington will meet on July 13th and, and, and uh, consider the same. And then the uh, uh, effectively Timmons, who's been engaged by the IDA, uh, who, who they do specialize in economic development, uh, site uh, development work uh, across the Commonwealth. Uh, can begin work July 14th. Be happy to, to answer any questions, and we certainly would uh, appreciate your consideration of it this evening and recommend recommend approval. Mm -hmm. I thank everybody for uh, being involved. Thank you, John, for the hard work you did with it. And with that, that's all I have, other than a motion. I have a motion by Mr. Griffin. Second. Second by Ms. Vanderstock. Melissa. Mr. Bennett. Before I vote, I would like to state to John, as he got me right, uh, Mr. Griffith and I have talked a lot on the telephone, but he pretty much carried the football on this thing, so I will vote yes for it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
but uh, also we also owe a lot of thanks to Mr. Griffith for getting here tonight. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Dodd? Yes. Mr. Nicely? Yes. Ms. Vanderstall? Yes. Mr. Griffith? Yes. Mr. Gardner? Yes. 